to Brie Brie does the most. I'm back with the next video, which is 10 facts about me. Um, this video was also very unplanned, so bear with me. Anyway, let's get started right about now. So, the 10th fact about me is my favorite color is blue. Um, it used to be one of those girly colors. Um, not to mean that blue is not a girly color. Um, so please, yeah, anyone who's out there who cares about the color scheme or the rainbow or something. Anyway, my favorite color is blue. Ninth fact about me. I love to read. Like, I read so many books um, that it's ridiculous. I read from the library and also read from this app called Woodpad. Um, no, I'm not sponsored by them, but I just would like to tell you about the app that's free for everyone. You can read books on there by your favorite authors, or you can read books on there by um, other people who like to write. And there's also some fan fictions on there for your favorite person, favorite artist, favorite rapper, whatever, whatever. Eighth fact about me, I am a mixed child. Um, I think I said this a little bit in my first video, um, which will be in the link down below. It was an intro to my channel. I have a African American mother and a Hispanic dad. My dad's from El Salvador. Mommy. two seconds and I got it for nothing. Anyway, my dad is Hispanic. He's from El Salvador and I have about four sisters who are also mixed. Um, fact, number, fact number seven. So I love to eat. I used to be insecure in high school and um, maybe 11th, maybe the end of 10th and 11th and 12th is when I really like started accepting myself for how I looked and the type of body that I had so I grew more confident. There is times where I do not like how I look and I don't like how my body is but God created me this way so I have to love myself which is something that someone taught me how to do. Yeah. I love to eat. I don't mind trying new things um, and so yes, I love to eat. I don't mind trying new things. Um, I've had Hispanic food, I've had American food, I've had um, Ethiopian, and I like Asian food. I've tried Vietnamese food. You know, I just love food. You know, as far as being diverse in, in my ethnicity, I'm diverse in eating. Fact number six. I have two dogs, count them. And here are their pictures. This one is Mocha, she's the girl, and this one is Tiger, he's the boy. Um, she's a little bit older and he's younger by I think like a year or two. I say a year or two, like he's not, okay maybe like a year or two. Um, and I've had them for a minute now. Fact number five. I am completely and utterly scared of heights. I mean, it's so funny because I can go to an amusement park and get on a roller coaster and be completely fine. But when it comes to like, like being up somewhere and just staring down, that's just something I cannot do. Like, not at all. Like, no. I remember that I went zip lining and I it was with the camp and my camp it was like Brianna, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Like all of them were saying it. Come on, Brianna, you can do it, you can do it. And I was just like, okay, I know I can do it. It's just that I'm not gonna do it right now. Give me like five minutes. Five churches two. I said five churches two. Five churches two. 
5 turns to 10, and then 10 turns to 15, and then literally I was standing up there for like 30 minutes, and everyone was waiting to take their turn, and I'm just standing there like... Yeah, it was horrible. Embarrassing. Kind of funny. It's good when you can laugh at yourself. Fact number four. I like scary movies. I'm not one of those girls where... Um, if a scary movie comes out, um, I'd be totally against seeing it, um, because I know there's some girls out there that just hate scary movies, they don't like the gore, they don't like the blood, they don't like the guts, they don't like the jump scares, honestly, I don't think anybody likes jump scares, I, if somebody likes jump scares, like, as a thrill, they're crazy, anyway, so I like scary movies, I mostly like classic movies, um, some of the new ones, they're honestly okay. Like, I can say paranormal activities are pretty good um, because they're jump scares and stuff. But when it comes to, like, other horror movies that are, have been made lately, they're okay. Like, the advertisement is good, but it isn't the same as, like, the old movies. Like, um, Freddy vs. Jason or Michael Myers um, and, um, and Halloween. What else? There's some other, like, Hellraiser. You know, those movies were really, really good, and they're still good to this day, so. Fact number three. Sorry. Okay. Fact number three. I am a late sleeper. Well, basically, I am basically freaking nocturnal, so I literally am up all night, and then I'll probably sleep, not all day, but for majority of the day, so when I do wake up in the afternoon, I'm up all night again. Fact number two, I am 21 and my birthday is in October, um, the 17th to be, uh, to be exact, and that means I'll be turning 22 pretty soon. the gist of me so far on this channel I talked about it in my first video which again will be in the link down below which is the intro to my channel and I talked about it in the reaction video that I just did for a certain somebody's so I love BTS I am a BTS fan As you can get the gist of who I love. So yes, I love B, also known as Kim Young of BTS. Honestly, I love all of them because look at them. They're so freaking beautiful. And so I don't know exactly how I was introduced to BTS. Not, me, not saying that someone introduced me, saying as far as how I like noticed them. Um, I remember a couple years back, I don't know if it was when they first debuted or maybe a couple years after they debuted, but I saw a one of their practice, their dance practice videos, I think it was for Run, because I remember that they would turn around and then take their jacket off, but I loved that video, and honestly, usually when I like a video on YouTube, I, I save it, and I don't know why, but for some reason, when I looked at their video, I liked it, but I didn't save it. So, like, maybe one or two years go past and, you know, they get older. And I, again, forget how I, like, started looking at them again. But I think it was because I saw one of their, another, another music video of theirs. I don't remember. But, um, I loved it. So, I saved it. And then eventually, you know, um, you know how YouTube would recommend you to look at another video that might be related to the one that you did look at? So, I started getting into them and then it just happened. It was like love at first sight, like. Well, not first sight, because if I would've loved them at first sight, I would've loved them back then when I saw that video. Anyway, I just love them now. When I first saw them dancing, I think I liked more of their dancing than their music. Then once I saw a music video, I was like, oh, the music's good too. So, um, even though I could not understand a thing they were saying, they goodness for freaking subtitles i still love them even with 
the lang language barrier. And because of that, it's just, it's like, you never know what's, like, what type of communities and cultures and stuff are out there in the world unless you, like, experience it firsthand. So I haven't really been to a lot of places. I've been to New York, Maryland, Virginia, because I live in D.C., those are the closest places to me. I've been to Philadelphia, and that's about it. I haven't been anywhere else. Um, I want to go to California. I don't mind going places. Um, you know, Florida, Miami, you know, there's a lot of places I want to go to and places overseas that I want to go to. I want to go to London and I want to, now that I love BTS, go to Korea. But yeah, BTS, they kind of opened up my mind a little, just a little. Like, I wouldn't mind going to different countries and stuff like that just because of them. So, um, and also, as I was saying earlier about the whole loving myself thing, um, they taught me that. Um, it took me a while to realize how to love myself, um, and honestly, um, I say um so much, honestly, every once in a while, again, I had my insecurities, I thought about certain things, yada, 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 but once I started getting to more into BTS, it, the picture became very clear for me, so I'm not ashamed of how I look, I'm not ashamed of how my body looks, and yeah. I just love myself. Thanks, BTS. So that is the video, 10 facts about me. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm still gonna do a Q&A, but it's not gonna be anytime soon. Because I'm still trying to build this channel, I wanna get a significant amount of following, and then I'll do the Q&A. So I will be doing a Q&A still. It'll probably be in a couple of months when I feel like I'm at a good enough amount of following to do a Q&A. So that's all guys, thanks for watching my video, um, please look at my reaction to the BTS comeback, for Map of the Soul, Persona Persona comeback trailer, it's going to be in the link down below. Please also look at the April Fool's prank that I just did on my mom, it was really, really funny, like, really, I'm not even going to give you no spoilers. Also look at the intro to my channel video, it's also going to be in the link down below. Please follow my social medias, which will also be in the link down below. And at the end of this video, thanks for watching.